version 12.3 we are heading in a semi-residential neighborhood right off the bat i can tell that it's more predictive it drives a little bit more intelligently more like a person would not as extreme let's see how it makes this turn here this is a very wide turn here this is a very awkward one this ought to be really interesting how it navigates this wow very good unbelievable unbelievable i haven't touched the wheel in a while so i better touch it that was a tremendous radius that it negotiated really easily this is a big difference over 11.9 i'll say this 12.3 is fantastic and look at it just moved over for those cars now it's recognizing a crosswalk i don't know it kind of stopped it actually stopped there which it didn't have to stop so maybe a little bit uh but that's more safety i know i've heard some people talk about it's it's not very safe so that one was that one was like a little bit more on the conservative side let's see how it negotiates this stop sign it's a four-way stop so it's already starting to slow down so it's again it's but not not too early it does it really like a like a human would you know it's not a last minute stop but it's uh let's see what's going on let's see what it wants to do yeah it realized that, that car stayed and then it went now in the past it would have played uh you know stay it would play like a stalemate with that other car but this time it kind of crept forward to give it its intention and now there's a pre pedestrian right there walking and it knows and it sees it uh it disengaged it i disengaged it because i had to touch the wheel that part is still a, a bit of a pain in the neck. You got to keep your hand on the wheel or it disengages you. Okay. So what do we got here? Car is stopped. Waits for it. Okay. Pretty smooth. It was not an overly contentious stop. It didn't stick around for more than it had to. So that was nice. The stop sign coming out of here. <clears throat> it never does this properly, so let's see how it does. This is a pretty wide, this is a very wide turn. This is necessary because it's a very strange. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Like, way better than it's ever been. That was tremendous. Let's see how this turn works. There's no, like, defined lines here on the turn so it's just kind of this big wide road as you can see it's huge the lane's way over there so look how wide this is so it's kind of figuring it out it's kind of figuring it out perfect just like i would have done it so it's sticking towards the yellow now there's some cars coming let's see what it does yeah it's kind of it kind of moved a little bit to the right just a hair because one of those cars was close to the yellow so very nice and now we're negotiating this left-hander at 35. Let's get a 40 and see how she does when it's going faster. Very nice. I mean, this is ultra smooth. Now it's reading a car coming out of that street. No problem. Didn't slow down too much. It's picking up on the cars in front of me. By far the best experience I've ever had in a um, autopilot scenario. I mean, by far, leaps and bounds. It's doing a tremendous job navigating this on kind of downhill and um, adjusting the speed properly for the conditions. So it's doing a, I mean, this is so smooth. This is as good as I could do it. I mean, really, this is, like in some areas, I feel like it's a 15, 16 year old with a permit or someone who just got their license. But like, let's see if it puts its signal on. Yep. But here it's it's operating like a like a 22 year old. It's like operating like a 22 year old. Someone who's been driving for five, six years and kind of gets it. Like this is what the behavior is here. This is fantastic. Okay, so it's a 45, it's proceeding with caution. We got a light up here, but uh, 
it's not giving me the full 45 for whatever reason. But this road is a little bit, um, well, there's a lot of twists and turns. I think 45 is pretty aggressive, but it is the posted speed limit. Okay, so it kind of waited a while to make this lane change, knowing that I have to make a left here. And there were no cars around me. So that's kind of surprising because I would have changed my lane earlier. Under other circumstances, I think it usually does do that. Let's take a look. Autopilot. Let's turn the signal off. And let's see, minimal lane changes for current drive. I don't know, maybe we gotta set that on on. Automatic speed offset. What's that one? Oh, that's that was on off, so it wasn't even okay so that was not on I, I guess I turned that off now it'll probably go faster than that speed the posted speed limit if it sees that it's safe light is going to be green there it goes it did not waste any time it did not waste any time that was fantastic usually it's it, it takes some time on the old autopilot, light turns green, kind of pauses. This thing was just like Mad Max. It was just green light and it reacted. So it's doing 40. I have it, it's on auto, set on auto. So I didn't even up it to whatever the, you know, above the speed limit. Oops, it wants me to touch it again. Okay, so now we got a car on the right with hazard lights on. This is a real world scenario here. Let's see what happens. The car to the side, I went around them nicely, put the signal on, I got a whole bunch of cars behind me. So obviously I want this to be a smooth turn. Wow, amazing turn, amazing turn. And here it doesn't know which way to go because uh, residents take the right lane. So I wouldn't have expected it to be able to do that. But anytime I take my eyes off the road, I think this camera is identifying that and uh, it doesn't like it. It does not like it. And then, that was a nice turn. Four-way, it was a four-way stop. Let's see how it negotiates these cars. There's no line here separating the lanes. So it's just sticking to the right side, but not overly right. It's, it's and look at that, it slows down for this big speed bump, but not too much. And then it accelerates at the proper time. Now we're gonna have to make a right here. And really nice. Okay, so it stopped behind. It's waiting. That car's turning too. So it, it that was pretty that was pretty stellar. That car was turning and it identified. I don't know, it just faded it out. Unbelievable, a step up, much more intuitive, smooth, rather than square turns, it's like, consider them more rounded. If it takes the edge off and it's more predictive and it just gets it. It's just more intuitive and it just gets it. Somehow it's just more human. Really cool, I'll probably do another test. We'll get some different scenarios going. Thanks for watching.